Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. Bear and Loki are going to take us to the kitchen. Here we go. They're such wonderful escorts. They are. Everybody's up. Luna and Bear are racing to the dish, and it looks like Luna took it. Oh, Bear. We'll have to go to the other one. Oh, boy. Here, I think we might have a weather kitty this morning. My yoke. Oh my goodness, Loki's going out. There he goes. And it's hmm, quite mild. Yes. Oh, there goes Bear. I'm going to check it out too. He's going to go to the facilities. Bear likes to use the outdoor house out there, so. Well, there were minus two kitties, but we still have the girls. Have a look at Luna eating her breakfast. There she is. Hi, Lou. <laughs> that is Luna, our brown tabby with white, and she's nine years old. And here's our dear little Miss Muffy. She's pretty special. She is 24 and a half years old, so I call her the Ancient Pud. Here she is, beautiful little kitty with beautiful colors. We are going to just turn on these lights in here because Loki will be coming back in and he'll want to go in there and hang out, I'm sure. So now I'm going to go grab the coffee pot. Well, we have an opportunity. Here we go. All right, we are up and it's 10 after five. And we are up for the day. I'll give you a little brief look at my picture. It's not that great yet, but there's my painting. Kind of just started really. So that's what it looks like so far. Now, here's little Miss Muffy. Let's do our little Miss Muffy greeting in the morning. She's so fast, I hardly even get to sit down. There she is. That's our Miss Muffy. She's the lap kitty of the house. <laughs> there she is. You know, she would like for me to just stay sitting. <laughs> but that won't work out so well. <laughs> but I will spend lots of time with Miss Muffy after a catio chat. Here's our Miss Luna. Oh, Miss Luna is going to... Well, not sure what she's doing. <clears throat> I see a face in the window. I figured it'd be Mr. Bear. Come in, beer. It's chilly. It's chilly out there. Now, what's Loki doing? I don't see him yet. Loki's got a really warm coat on. His coat's all grown back in. Oh, here he is. He's a floof ball. I bet he won't come in. He's on the wrong side of the door. When they sit on that side, it means they want to look in. They don't want to come in. <laughs> yep, you've got to figure out all their little ways just to survive here with four kitties. <laughs> Here's Miss Muffy. Miss Muffy is the greatest little kitty. She never ages a day. She'll be 25 in August. <clears throat> she looks just like she did 10 years ago. Don't you, Miss Muffy? Even 15 years ago, my goodness. There she is. She's got a very beautiful coat. Very soft and shiny still. She still grooms herself very well. And she actually still... Um, there's Luna. She still uh, does all of her favorite little things that she's always done. She goes outside. Goes around our property and over next door and when she comes home and waits at the front door. Yeah. To go kitty. So she still has her routine, which is 
pretty wonderful. She eats really well, still drinking really well. So she's, um, I think she still has a few years left in her, to be honest. I sure hope so. <laughs> she's got arthritis and she's deaf, but we all would be at your age, wouldn't we? Let's see if the boys want to come in. Or boy, I should say, because they're there. No, I just saw Loki walk away from the door. He's not ready to come in. There's Mr. Bear. Oh, I can hear Loki. He's singing out there. <laughs> singing the songs of his people, isn't he, Bear? I can hear him out there. He goes, yow, yow, yow. You singing, Loki? I see you in the dark. Hi. You coming in? Here he comes. Loki, we call him Tank. He's our 25 pounder. <laughs> you can see his belly just a going when he walks. Here he goes. Let's go say hi to Loki. Where did you want to get up? Here, I pulled your chair out for you. Here's Loki. Hi, Loki. Not time to go to the basement yet, Loki. Loki likes to take me to the basement and we have cuddles down there. <laughs> There's our big boy. He's not our biggest boy though. Loki's our biggest boy. Bear's just got, uh, well, he's got longer limbs and a longer body so it spreads out better. <laughs> there he is. There's our bear in the morning. Hello. Let's come in for a pet. Bear loves to be petted. Here. There he is. Our beautiful bear. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so this is my morning routine. We usually get up, whoa, we usually get up anywhere between 5 and 5.30. I should say, the kitties get me up. But we've had a lifetime of getting up at 5.30 in the morning for work. So the kitties don't know that that stopped. And they think they still need to get one of us up at 5.30. But now it's become closer to 5 for some reason. And Bear is counter surfing. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, that's what it's all about around here. Woods. Oh, Luna's got the big scratcher. Where'd Loki go? That's usually his little seat. Oh, yes, Loki was... Come on in, Loki. You're trying to get me to go to the basement with him. We'll do that a little bit later, yes. Oh, boy. Boy, you can hear Bear jump down off of the table. It's a great big kerfunk. <laughs> There's Loki. Get Loki's tail. Whoop. <laughs> There's those pants. Oh my goodness. Teddy Bear Bum, we call him. <laughs> yeah, Loki's fur is completely grown back in. <laughs> Loki and Luna are, are really good friends. Even though they're the only two that scrap. <laughs> Luna and Loki do get into some, but usually I think it's, well, it's Loki who starts it usually. <laughs> yes, there's Loki. He's coming in for a, a hunchy putty. Yeah, good boy, Loki. Oh, look. There. Good boy. There he is. There's Loki. Oh, Loki's loving his mama right now. <laughs> Tail hugs. There, good boy, Yoki. Well, I guess we've seen everyone. We're all... Mm. <laughs> we are all in the room here together. I'm just keeping an eye on Bear and Miss Muffy. There, good boy, Bear. Some, this is only occasionally that there's ever like a, a scuffle or a skirmish or a for a, a swat. <clears throat> Yesterday, Bear and Miss Muffy were sleeping together. So, yeah, you never know when they're gonna have little spats and uh, 
whenever I notice one occurring or in the process, I always put an end to it. It's just like distracting toddlers, really, when they're doing something you don't want them to do. You just sort of turn them around and send them off in the other direction. Yeah. They kind of remind me of toddlers, these kitties. Especially that one right there. They're so smart. You really have to stay ahead of them because they can get themselves into trouble, right, Bear? And we have got to wrap this up and call it Catio Chat for today. So um, don't forget to subscribe and we'll all see you in the morning.